Lesson 29. I think it's fun. Page 72. Conversation. A. Listen. What does Sonia think of the movie? What does Angela like about it? Let's pause the movie and get a snack. Isn't the movie exciting, Sonia? Not really. I think it's boring. I feel like the acting isn't very good. Really? Yeah, and to me, the story is kind of confusing. I like it, actually. In my opinion, the story is excellent. If you ask me, the acting could be better. Then why don't we watch something else? I can finish this movie later. No, no, that's fine. I do want to see how it ends. Page 73. Listening. A and B. Hey, Jason. Have you read this? Let's see. Oh, the case of the missing briefcase. Yeah. What did you think of it? It's one of my favorite books. A real page turner. Are you serious? Yeah. I found the story very interesting. I take it you didn't like it? Not at all. I thought it was really, really boring. Huh. I guess you won't go see the movie next year, then. No way. Can you help me? With what? Today's homework. I'm finding the assignment confusing. Really? I've already finished it. You have? You weren't confused? No. I thought it was difficult, but not confusing. Well, maybe you can explain it to me. Of course. So, what part exactly? Can you hand me the remote control? Why? I thought you liked soccer. I love soccer, but I don't think this match is very exciting. Nothing is happening. But someone will probably score after you change the channel. What do you think of this match? It's not exciting, but there isn't anything else on. Why don't we watch a little more? Okay, but I'm getting a snack. Lesson 30. I feel the same way. Page 74. Conversation. A. Listen. Who are Joey and Mike? How does Caitlin feel about what happened? Hi, Caitlin. It's Zach. Listen, I don't mean to gossip, but did you hear that Joey and Mike got into an argument? I just heard. Our two best friends. I don't really know what happened. To me, they just stopped communicating. I think so, too. But I feel it's probably more than that. I think Mike sometimes argued with Joey, and that bothered him. I'm not sure I really agree. I've seen Joey judging Mike. I just hope they make up, or at least stay friends. I feel the same way. Let's be sure to be there for them. Page 74. Conversation. C. Listen. Write the two extra sentences you hear in the conversation. Practice the new conversation. Hi, Caitlin. It's Zach. Listen, I don't mean to gossip, but did you hear that Joey and Mike got into an argument? I just heard. Our two best friends. I feel so bad for them. I don't really know what happened. To me, they just stopped communicating. I think so, too. But I feel it's probably more than that. I think Mike sometimes argued with Joey, and that bothered him. I'm not sure I really agree. I've seen Joey judging Mike. That wasn't nice. I just hope they make up, or at least stay friends. I feel the same way. Let's be sure to be there for them. Page 75. Pronunciation. A. 
listen and practice. Notice how we stress a word that contrasts an idea. In my opinion, it's never okay to lie. I don't really agree. It's sometimes okay. Page 75. Pronunciation. B. Listen. Underline the stressed word in each response. Listen and check your answers. Then practice with a partner. Are Brian and Cal gossiping? No, they're arguing. I think Brian should apologize. You do? I feel Cal should apologize. Lesson 31. What would you do? Page 76. Conversation. A. Listen. Why didn't Kevin go to Sandra's party? What does Amy think he should do? I am so embarrassed. Why? What happened? I thought Sandra's birthday was on Sunday night, but it was on Saturday night. Oh, no. So you missed it? What do you think I should do? I'd just be honest and definitely apologize. I'd make sure to get her a birthday present, too. What time does the mall close? Page 77. Listening. A and B. 1. I got home a little late last night. It was actually my birthday, but I was too busy at work to plan anything. My friend borrowed my apartment key yesterday morning. He said he'd left something there a few days ago and wanted to pick it up. Anyway, when I got home, the place was totally dark. When I turned on the light, a whole bunch of my friends were there, and they all shouted, Surprise! Happy birthday! 2. Some new people moved into the apartment next door to me a few weeks ago. I haven't met them yet, and I never see them anywhere around the apartment building. But late at night... I hear some strange noises coming from their apartment. It sounds like they're making something. Sometimes I hear a sound as if someone is playing a strange musical instrument. What would you do if you were me? 3. I borrowed a book from a friend a few weeks ago. It was a book her mother gave her, and I know she really liked it. Unfortunately, I spilled some coffee on it. I tried to clean it up, but now several pages have awful coffee stains on them. She won't be happy with me at all. What should I do? 4. I ran into an old friend of mine at the train station the other day. The last time I saw her was two years ago. She looked great and we're going to get together again for coffee this week. The only thing was that when I first ran into her, I couldn't remember her name. Has that ever happened to you? Luckily, I don't think she noticed. Lesson 32. Then what happened? Page 78. Conversation. A. Listen. Where did the woman's money come from? What did she do with it? I heard something interesting on the news last night before I went to bed. Oh, yeah? What's that? It was a story about a woman who gave away several million dollars. It was money she inherited from an aunt. Wow. What did she do with it? She was watching a TV show about needy families. After watching the show, she decided to give all the money away. Amazing. Next, she set up a scholarship program to pay for the education of hundreds of motivated high school kids. Then, she decided to pay for their college tuition, too. That's fantastic. She must be really generous. Page 78. Conversation. C. Listen. 
Write the two extra sentences you hear in the conversation. Practice the new conversation. I heard something interesting on the news last night before I went to bed. Oh, yeah? What's that? It was a story about a woman who gave away several million dollars. It was money she inherited from an aunt. Wow. What did she do with it? She was watching a TV show about needy families. After watching the show, she decided to give all the money away. Can you believe that? Amazing. Next, she set up a scholarship program to pay for the education of hundreds of motivated high school kids. Then, she decided to pay for their college tuition, too. What a generous person! That's fantastic. She must be really generous. Page 79. Pronunciation. A. Listen and practice. Notice how each clause ends with falling intonation. 1. Before I went to bed, I heard something interesting on the news. 2. After she saw that, she decided to give all the money away. 